I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, am I? <gasps> oh! I hope a ghoul might get you. Oh! Uh... like... Oh! Welcome back, gays, ghouls, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror, Horror Bandwagon. Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And guess what, guys? It is officially movie night over here, and we are covering 2012's Sinister. Uh-oh. Yeah, we posted this on our community tab. We asked you guys if this was a movie that we should react to, and a good majority of you guys said yes, that we should. Now, Inside T here, we have not seen Sinister. Nope. We, we've never seen it. We both are on the same page here. Um, but have you heard about it at all? Uh, I know. I only know that there's like a movie that they watch and that like this monster appears or ghost or something. So you know a lot more than I do. I, I just like that's the thing that sticks out to me from the trailer. Yeah, I do remember the trailer. I do remember when like around the time that this was coming out because the, the 2012s, 2014s, I mean, on top of me being in college and drinking a lot, um, besides that, um, everything was kind of a blur to me because there were just a ton of PG-13 movies coming out at that time. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if this is rated PG-13. It could be, we're gonna find out. See, this is how fresh this is. We honestly don't know um, what's what we're about to get into. Yeah. The only thing that I could tell you about this movie is that there is like a horror icon in this movie. This mm -hmm. is, uh, I think his name is Bagul. And okay. I, I, I think, I don't even know. They, that name could never even pop up in this movie. But the only thing when I hear Bagul is uh, the word Gabagul. Like like Italians say, like Gabagool. Gabagool. Ga are, like, are we just, are, am I allowed to say that? I don't think you're allowed to say it. I don't think I'm allowed to say it. Uh, okay, uh, well we then. We refer to it as Capicola ham. <laughs> Future Sergio, do not bleep everything out. All this from a slice of Gabagool. And guys, in case you didn't notice or have noticed, we are in a little bit of a different angle mm -hmm. than we're used to. We just got a new tripod, so we're kind of trying out what angle works so please excuse how everything looks for the for the time being um it may change for next week's episode or it may not maybe this is the perfect pose for us i mean we haven't reached myspace girl realness angle yet so. what's the myspace girl realness the, like from way oh above. all the way up yeah <laughs> <laughs> But before we get started, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post new content. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Ah! I'm scared already. Horrifying! <laughs> Mountains! Summit Entertainment! Also, we couldn't have this episode without drinks in our hand. You have a cider. Mm -hmm. I have um, what looks like it's just maybe seltzer or just water, but it's actually uh, lukewarm Sprite and tequila. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh. Um, that's not good. Is this a family? Yeah, what is happening? Oh, I don't like this sound in my ear right now. Mm. <gasps> oh my God. Mm -mm. Who cut the tree? Mm -mm. It looked like it was like a ghost or something. I don't like this. This looks like oh. a family. Like, mm -hmm. oh my God, they're really making us watch them die. Mm -hmm. Now, is this worse than last week yet or no? Not yet. Uh, well, because this isn't like super gory, but this is just horrifying. Yeah, this is this is borderline disturbing to just like. Or is it like someone on the other side of the tree or something? Ugh. Oh, I do like how they did that title title card. All right. So what we know is that this dude has an office. <laughs> It's giving me That's very uh, disheveled daddy. Mm -hmm. This is Ethan Hawke. Man, he's in everything. Him and Jason Blum are like buddies. 
Is that the kid from It? Not the kid, but the guy? Like, grown-up guy? Are you kidding me? I think it is. That's, um... Ashley? Never a good sign. Yeah, that's creepy. If you're drawing... If my child is drawing a figure on... Even with a balloon, I'm still skeptical. Mm -hmm. Number one rule. Paint only goes in the bedroom. And where doesn't it go? Anywhere else in the house. Right. I have a feeling that's going to come back. Of course it is. That's going to come back. He said, number one rule. Unless I can convince you to load those boxes back on that truck and leave as soon as you're able. Uh, oh, my God. You don't seem to care much for our profession. Mm -hmm. Not everybody in your profession gets it right. Oh, you got it right in Kentucky blood. I'll give you that. It's a fine piece of writing. But uh, cold in morning, you got it wrong. Ooh. Your bad theory helped to kill or go free. You ruin people's lives. Now, this town doesn't... Oh, this guy's giving us all the tea. This conversation gave us so much exposition. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, literally trying to bullet point it down in my head. Like, okay, this is what's happening. Writing true crime has taught me one thing. It's that whenever an officer... Of the wasting my time, it just means he thinks he's wasting his. The amount of reading that the they did to each other... The library is open! Literally, they were just, like, snapping back at each other. I was like... If we did, I don't want to know about it. We didn't. You promise? I promise. Mm -mm. I feel like that's going to be something like we didn't move three houses down. We are in it. Bomb, bomb, bomb. <gasps> Scary bass music. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. I don't like dark addicts. I don't like addicts in general. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Ew! A scorpion? What? Oh, uh, bro. There's just like a flood of Are scorpions. The scorpion king comes out. I've also got noodles and fortune cookies. It is so dark in this house. I know. Well, they just moved in. Maybe they don't have all the lighting that they need. That's fair. That's it's the fair. first thing that I would do. By lamps. <laughs> Where are you? Well, he started somewhere. <laughs> Where are you? Did he like bring these boards with him? <gasps> Maybe this is the family that we saw in the beginning of the. Yep, oh, it, it is. is. Yep. Do you think the family knows? That this Wait. may be I think this may be the house, Wait. right? No, I don't the family does not know, but that's from the sheriff's office. It said that the attic was empty, so where did that box of films come oh. from? I mean, I would not know what to do with this film. Good job on trying like setting that up. I wouldn't even know wow. where to begin. Does it come with the music? <laughs> okay, everything seems normal. They're all having fun. Who edited this together? Oh no, this is the one that we saw. I cannot believe that he would move to the house where all these people got killed and not tell his family. That is really messed up. Well, this is like evidence, no? Like, shouldn't you? I, I mean, I would think that you would want to turn this into the police or something. But I guess he's like trying to solve it where the police have failed. I would make a drink after that, too. Now, he didn't know that this happened here. Because he. this is the first time he's watching these tapes. Yeah, but... Wouldn't the family have been found here? Like this would be like a all right, we're moving out right well, away. Oh yeah, the bottom the the bottoms. The bo <laughs> they're all bottoms. No I'm kidding. <laughs> the bodies were found. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. There was a door. You were so busy trying to make a joke. Sorry. Seriously, why are there no lights on? Yeah, this is a dark movie. <sighs> no. It's gonna be one of the kids. Mm. It's gonna be one of the kids. <laughs> And <laughs> what? Jesus. Look at all these. They're really like 
giving her a lot of liberty with the wall. <laughs> Is this another family? I think so. Is this like the one labeled barbecue? Oh yeah, that would make sense. I don't see the I don't see a barbecue. Ugh, the sounds in here are so unnerving. Oh my god. How can he just watch this? Seriously, I feel like I would have just been like, what the fuck? I feel like this would be cursed. I would be like, this is cursed. These are cursed films. Yeah. Is this an emergency? Uh, yes. Just say it has to do with, with the murders. Do you think the tape is just going to disappear? No, I think they're not going to take him seriously. King County Police Department, how may I direct your call? <laughs> County Police Department. Oh, he's going to want to solve it himself. <sighs> yep. Dude. Hello? His ego. Hello? He got a big ego. <laughs> oh, not again. Just turn on some lights in your in your house. No. Oh my god. No. Oh. Is this real? Is this like what's happening? Hey, 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 wake up. Come on, come on, come on, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Is he having a night terror? All right. Hey, 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 look at the stars. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. I mean, I've had night terrors before, but never like that. So you never climbed into a box and I was like, reveal. No, I'm kidding. Have a nice morning with your murder victims. Yes, dear. Come on, Trevor, where's your... I mean, oh, are they on like at the second floor? Because that looks like they're on the second floor of something. No, they're on the first floor. Um, but it is like, that was a really cool shot because you had the tree in the background. So like you couldn't oh. forget. It's always someone like from the bushes. I wonder who this is. Oh, so this is the pool one we didn't get to watch yesterday. Well, in the movie yesterday. Oh, those cups are cute. Mm -hmm. <gasps> no. Oh, they have them all tied up. Oh my God. This is like borderline like snuff films, no? Yeah. Like this is like... I mean, and the odd thing is that films like these allegedly exist. <gasps> no, 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 no. What the fuck is that? Uh -huh. I wasn't even like, it took me a while to for my brain and eyes to connect. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I'm I was so freaked out. I was not expecting that. Don't you think that was cool? No! <laughs> no! Turn it off! Why would you oh do that? Oh my god. The funny thing is that we do like have a pool somewhere outside. Imagine it's just empty. look imagine just looking outside and that thing is like random. No! Yeah. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That is freaky though. Oh my god, I wanna do a Bagul drag look. I think this is Bagul, right? I don't know. I'm assuming. This is Gabagool. This is, oh, wait, sorry. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. What did you do? I drew a picture. Tell him what you drew. I drew a tree with four people hanging from it. Go to your room, Trevor. I need to speak to your father. Uh, br does that bring a bell, guy? This is in someone's house. It seems like we're skipping the fun parts now. It's just like going to the deep dark. There's, a, I feel like there's a video that you find on deep uh, on the dark web. Have you ever been to the dark web? No. Do you want to? No. Let's go. No. no. <laughs> the puppers. What the, the, the poor puppers? And the poor people. 
Maybe this isn't isn't PG thirteen. Oh, please don't do anything to the dog, please, or or anybody else. How is he like? I don't get how like he could just sit here and. But watch who is this. he? Oh, oh, you you met like the other guy. Yeah, although I also would like to know who is filming. But also, like, who the fuck? Like, why hasn't he tried to put things together? Like, oh, no, it's a kid. Oh no! Yeah, look away. Look away. Millers, along with their younger son, were found stabbed inside their home. And police now are asking for any information that could lead to Christopher's return or the... Mm -mm. I will say I do like the true crime aspect of this movie. Like, there is a, a legit mystery to be solved, which is fun. Oh, no. Walking out. Walking no. out. Mm -mm -mm. No. Imagine that was to happen right now to us. Imagine. Mm -mm. I would throw up. <laughs> I do not like this. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, am I? No, this is fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> the hope of ghoul might get you. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, shoot. Oh, it said Mr. Boogie, right? Uh-huh. Boy, you better get, get out of that attic. <laughs> okay, did everybody hear that? Like, yeah, did like, nobody... <laughs> I did kill a scorpion when we first moved in here, though, so maybe I should get an exterminator. The scorpions have feet, but you wouldn't hear him like you would squirrels what is this conversation what the hell <laughs> it's, uh, well this is the guy who was like a super fan actually there is i left my copy of kentucky blood down at the station it would really mean a lot to me if you oh he is a fan uncover some yeah. additional information that the cops uh, had overlooked mm. well look first off let me say that there are a lot of good police officers out there and i don't want to in any way disparage what they do right but in police work getting something wrong means ruining people's lives good crime writing can set things it is a good like indication of his character to he's know just that like watching yeah, he's watching himself and being like yeah <laughs> <sighs> It's like a slender man. Mm, I don't like man. this. It's like, stop printing all these pictures out. Oh. Particular about his coffee. It's a nice ASMR uh, coffee making. Mm -hmm. Brought you your coffee, Daddy. Oh, you sweetheart. Oh. Yeah, hello. Hey. Hey, Mr. Oswald. Uh, That's so sad. No. He lived with a Miller family murders happened. Holy shit. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. He's like, hello. Hello. Is he going to see it behind him? <gasps> oh! What the what the fuck? What is happening there? Why are there too many? You should, you should like leave. I don't even know if leaving. Uh, yeah, works I don't now. know. Like, see, I don't know the rules of this demonic whatever this is. Or well, what it ghost seems like if he moves, guys. If he moves, that's wherever they move to. That's where they're gonna die, because the last family oh, lived. Oh, the they they moved right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you bitch. Ah, that was a dick move movie. There's a significant link between the murder cases is that in each instance, the killer murdered the entire family except one, a child, which he took with him. That and this symbol appears in several of the crime scenes. I don't even know what that is. So where do you think that drowning happened? That's what I need you to find out. What if it turns out that he is like the murderer? The who? This guy. The writer? The police guy. <gasps> oh. Like he had to do s something, and this spirit is actually maybe. Like using him? Huh? 
like using him or something? I kind of feel like it's a good thing. Like it's trying to guide him to find out what it is. You think? Mm-hmm. I, I think you might be onto something. Either that or because like I don't know who's filming. Yeah, like somebody has to be filming. It can't just be like paranormal stuff. There has to be some sort of realistic thing aspect to this. What if right? what if the person who's filming is the other child? Like the one who always goes missing? What if this is like a demon using the child to Possession. kill the family? Okay. Okay. That would explain why, but where did they all go? I don't know. Lawnmower. Oh! Shit, you bitch! You fucking bitch! Oh! What the fuck? Oh my god. Professor Jonas? Yes. Hey. Oh, hey, Vincent D'Onofrio. Huh. What kind of deity? Uh, a, a very obscure one, dating back to Babylonian times, named Bagul, the eater of children. But cool, I was right. Oh, was that not him? But he locked it away. Oh, that was him locking it. Wow, I totally spaced out. (laughs) So you know Bueno. Yeah, this is uh, bad. Like start doing something. Are we finally gonna turn the lights on? No, he's gonna get a no, bat. No, of course not. The convenient bat that's in the corner. <laughs> Just like <laughs> one. Oh no. Oh, this is the missing girl, right? I guess he doesn't hear her or see her. Are we start are we gonna start seeing ghosts now? Stuff. Stuff, you mean the, the supernatural, the metaphysical, the paranormal, that type of stuff? Right. <laughs> right. Of course you don't. It, you never would have moved into a crime scene if you did, but here we are. Having this conversation. He's like, uh, no one's around, right? There was, there was none of that, uh, you know, none of that with the Stevensons, huh? No. And the short of not- I think we've seen too many horror movies that we will always try to get some sort of background check in a house and be like, who died here? <laughs> you paint in your walls, and what was it? What's the rule, Ashley? Paint only goes in the bedroom. And what makes you think you can paint out here? The lighting is so fucking creepy. Picture, but in this. she's lying in my room because that used to be her brother's room. Who are you talking about? Stephanie. Who's Stephanie? She used to live here. She's the one Daddy's writing his book about. Ashley, go to your room. Yikes. Uh oh, yeah, it was bound to happen. Come on, bro. You need to, you need to tell her. Wait, Open so house. saying it didn't happen here? No. It, it happened in the backyard. Oh. oh my god. Are you kidding me? There's okay, no excuse. Have, this place came on the market. It was a steal. Gee, I wonder are why. You, yeah. Are you kidding me? The book isn't for us. Yes, it it's is. for you. Tracy, don't say you. that. Don't say that. That's not true. It is true. It is true. I will say this though. Their acting is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Yeah, like this feels like an actual argument. Right? Like, I feel like we're the outsiders of, like, we're just in this room and we're just like, okay, let's just play uh, Super Mario Kart until yeah. your, your parents finish arguing. <laughs> no. Oh, God. It is pretty psychedelic, though. It's kind of cool. <gasps> <gasps> you okay? No! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, is it time to go? Is it time to go? Because we're. I, I, I'm okay with us all leaving, right? Honey, slow down. You should, yeah, you should maybe let her drive. Is he, is he drunk? Between us and this town as we can, okay? Where are they going? Oh um, no.
and he's probably intoxicated. Mm -hmm. Right? I, I feel like, because he was drinking earlier. There isn't going to be any book. No, sir. It's the ice, ice machine. Just so you know, guys, we heard something downstairs, and we thought, just a lot of thoughts. And it so, was the ice machine. But it was the ice machine. Thank God. Oh, yeah, this goes in the office. Right in there on the right. Why does this look like a much more know, luxurious like house? Deputy so and so. Ten bucks has Travis sleep through the night. What if it's like information that he like found out and it's like super important? Are you gonna call him back? No. Well, probably not because he's like I'm. Uh, he's like I'm not doing the book anymore. But yeah, this is a massive house. Yeah, they were like, we don't have any money. We're we're uh, maybe maybe this is one of the things that they mentioned in the beginning of the of the movie, and we just talked over it. But well, maybe this is the house that he's like, we couldn't afford this. Yeah, there isn't fresco. It just isn't a lot left. Everything else has been destroyed. Those are the three animals he saw: a scorpion, a snake, a dog. <sighs> yeah, actually lived in the images themselves, and that they were gateways into his realm. He lives in the he lives in the pictures. He took pictures of him. Who did? He did. He took pictures and like zoomed in on Bagul in the in the videos. He brought them with him. What kind of book are you writing exactly? I don't know. So what you're telling me is that he opened the gate by watching yes. the videos. Oh, what shoot. is that? It's a letter. Extended cut. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Some missing kids. So we were right about that. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I don't know. What's what? in there? Oh no. Oh, that's sneaky. <gasps> oh my god. I like that you made the most Is he dying? <gasps> oh my god. I love that that comes back together from the beginning. Like where she was asking about um the coffee being made. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, is she actually gonna do it? Oh, she's adding in the things. Oh, she's just gonna jump into the picture. House painting. <laughs> oh my god! I knew why it was did coming. I? I knew that too, and I still fell for it. My fucking god! Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. If we literally were just like silent for the last bit, but we were just like, I, I guess we were just flabbergasted as to what was happening on our screen. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh my god! So we made it, guys. We just finished the Sinister. And honestly, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Really? Yeah. I thought it was interesting. What, what mean, did you think? I thought it was interesting, but I was fucking terrified the entire time. I, I, I was terrified. Like, the jump scares are some jump scares that I personally hate. And they're cheap. And they're just made to, like just annoy you in my opinion in mm. my opinion there's some movies that do that and don't do it correctly i think this movie did it correctly there's some more some jump scares that were like that really got me yeah and me i too. laughed about it afterwards because i'm like <laughs> oh yeah that's true you were you were not <laughs> you were not having it but i was having a good time i was like 
You got me. You got me, bitch. You got me, gal. I so this movie really, really scared me and got me good. Yeah, in a case lot it like times. Cody does have this tendency of not hiding. He does not have a good poker face. Mm -hmm. So he will show you that he is not having a good time. I mean, like the so paranormal movies always like really interest me. I find them fascinating. Mm -hmm. I think that this is a paranormal movie at the end of the day. I think so too. I also like that the the lead character of you know the what we're supposed to be scared of, Bagul, is not really in the movie like for the most part. Yeah, you know he's only just shown in the background, and sometimes he pops in just like those two times, but he's not like floating around or attacking you or doing. I guess he's she's he's very Annabelle like. Yeah, because Annabelle doesn't move or talk or do anything, but she is just there and dark shit happens around her my other positives are the acting was really good oh, everybody yeah. in this movie did actually a really good job with the performances it was really shot well except the fact that it was just mostly dark for most of the for the movie mm -hmm. that's my probably criticism how it's being shot um i for my mixed feelings i think it could have been a little shorter i feel like we could have you know maybe deleted some scenes and made it like a more concise film um because most of the movie was here and there of him uh the dad just walking around and looking at things and wondering but, what happened but i mean counterpoint the that that almost in my view is necessary because you need to watch him like slowly fall apart yeah and finally give in to like i can't do this anymore we need to get i just out feel here. like there were moments where like it really stopped the movie and i was like okay i kind of want it to be a little bit more fast paced but that's honestly just my take on the movie i personally don't find kids that creepy um except for certain like like if you see Ouija 2 uh, or Ouija Origins of Email, email. Uh, Ouija Origins of Email. <laughs> Ouija Origins of Evil. Uh, Lulu Wilson in that movie, freaking like super scary. She delivers an awesome performance. Mm -hmm. um, and I do like the makeup effects on these kids in this movie. They look creepy, but when they were, I, I wanted to see, I wanted to be creeped out by Bagul more than I wanted to be creeped out by the kids, you know, because most of them were just like walking around and, you know, like not, I wish they were like maybe floating around. I don't know. That was just my well, little they were picky. kind of, I know, but I feel like it could have been amped up a little bit more in my opinion. I don't know. I think that, um, I think that the movie was really well done. We've already said the acting, but the sound design, the music, <gasps> sound and it music was, really, was so really well done. Creepy, especially if I'm sure in the theater it would have been great, but since we're wearing headphones, it like all the the sounds are like the crackling and like the voices, like you can hear it really amped up. So if you ever have a chance to watch this movie. Uh, using your headphones, please do, because I yeah. think that enhances the experience a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. Oh, I also did want there to be a bigger finale. You wanted a bigger finale? I did. What, what did I you did. want? Maybe, like, I wanted the dad to kind of bask in the fact that his daughter is now doing the same thing that he was searching for. Like he realized that it was the missing children. He realized that it's the daughter, but I wish we kind of expanded about, upon that a little bit more. Maybe there was a way that he could stop it or because he didn't, I feel like there was no well, but, solution to what he could have done. But that's kind of the point. Is I that know. It's inevitable. Like there's, there's no fighting back against us. You can't, you can't win. I know. I don't know. I just wish there was a little bit. But but I am. Li listen, I did enjoy this movie. The ending what we got was creepy. And mm -hmm. I love the shot of the girl like moving her head. And Bagul is like right behind her. I do love the creepiness of the kids looking to the side and seeing the, the sister or yeah. the daughter. They're like writing like it, like that whole. That's why we were so silent because we were just engulfed into what was happening. Um, so we're just awful reactors at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, what would you rate this movie? I can't I can't give this a super high rating because I it scared me too much. Um I think if we if we remove the scariness factor and we just talk about how like how good I thought this movie was. Yeah, generally like from a cinematic point. I would give this like a nine. I thought that it was Ooh. like I I I mean I do not ever want to watch it again. But okay. I, <laughs> I like I just I can't 
I can't really pinpoint anything that I thought that this movie did poorly. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna give it a seven. Um, I did have my criticisms of it, but it's really nitpicky stuff. Like, I, honestly, the the plot of it, I was enthralled. It was a kind of a mystery, and you kind of really were invest invested with it. And the actors were all really great. Um, pretty much what you said about the movie, it actually really did creep me out. And those moments, like you'll see, I was actually really like frightened as to what I was seeing. So yeah, I give it credit. So it's gonna be a seven for me. All right, guys, that was movie night. We watched Sinister. What did you think of Sinister? Go down into the comments and let us know what you thought of the movie and what your ratings would be. What would you rate this out of 10? Um, because we actually really wanna know. Yeah. Well, with that all being said, we have been your source for horror analysis. Criticism. And spook it, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye.